Hi, this is Karen with Renovated Faith, and today I'm going to show you how to whitewash a fireplace. But this is a little bit different. I want to get the look of a washed mortar brick or German smear, as it's sometimes referred to. And I don't want to worry about mortar, so I'm just going to use one half. Here I have mixed up one half, one part white paint, and uh, one part clear mixing glaze. And mix those together well. And here I have a sponge that I tore in half. And get a sponge with the finer, a finer sponge with the smaller holes. And I'm just going to put a little bit of paint and wipe some off. And now I like to start with the bricks I don't like. So I don't really like this brick so much. So I'm just going to wipe, dab a little bit on it at a time. And now I'm gonna smear it around. And you don't want it perfect, because this process, the more imperfect it is, the better it's going to look. So I'm just gonna do that. You can see I've done the same to a brick over here. First to some of the bricks that are kind of ugly, like those at the top. And then I'm gonna do them sporadically. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now that I've gone through and done some select bricks with the whitewash, I'm going to fill in a little bit and just do a lighter version like this on parts of some bricks. Now, you wouldn't think that's a big deal, but if you want that German smear look, you wanna have some that are a lighter color than the others and only on parts of the bricks. And when I show you a picture how this looks, it'll make sense of how it looks more natural. So for that, I only have a tiny bit of paint, like a dab, and even I'm gonna wipe that off. So a tiny bit of paint on my wet sponge. So I'm just gonna come through, like here I did it a little bit. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I'm gonna come through and just dab a little bit on some of the bricks. And I wanna come over here and do the same. And because this has the glaze in it, if you don't like that, get a wet rag and wipe it off. It will come off because it has the glaze in it. That glaze keeps it from drying up on you. And see, I think that that's maybe, I want a little lighter, so I just keep rubbing it in. So you're gonna go through and do that so that each brick has a little bit of paint. Some more than others, some solid, but then most of the bricks have just a little bit of paint on them. And next I'll show you a picture of the final product. Now some of these bricks I'm leaving almost plain, but just doing a tiny bit, and that's it. You just wanna give the impression that someone's gone over the whole thing with mortar. And it will look 